hearing the noise of my wheels on the cement. Man, it's hard to put into words the feeling I get from that, where I really feel alive. So we're here in uh, Fullerton, California at a historic skate spot called The V. I pretty much skated this place every day from 1976 to 1979. This is probably 1975. One of the first times I skated here, I think this picture is from. Took a lot of pictures back then. This is one of the few remaining ones I have. I was a sponsored skater back in the mid 70s for about three years. Graduated from high school in uh, 1980, and I literally did not touch a skateboard for almost 32 years. I didn't really miss it, just like time to move on, you know, graduate from high school, go to college, get a job, get a girlfriend. So it was just, you know, no big deal. The way it came back, just really kind of a fluke. I came home one day and there was a 55 inch longboard on my porch that my wife bought for me. I hopped on that thing and I uh, was carving back and forth. And just the feeling that came to me was no time had passed. Like I just went from, it went from 1980 to 2011 and I just felt this sensation come over me like, oh my gosh, I just rediscovered my youth. I'm 18 again. When I decided to get back into skateboarding, my friends and family were like, uh, what, are you, what are you doing? You're almost 50 years old and you're skateboarding? I mean, come on, you must be having a midlife crisis. And I said, no, you know what? This is a midlife awakening. I'm going out doing what I want to do and I'm not listening to what other people are saying because if I did, I wouldn't be living an authentic life. Nobody says I can't skate every day, so why not? I mean, skate every day.